Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. We're back to walking and talking. It's been a while, huh? Well, feels like it's been a while for me anyways. Well, today we're gonna be talking about, well, you already know, I'm talking about Mexico. Every time you see me with the camera walking around, it's always Mexico, but we're gonna be talking about Trump, the USSA and Mexico and the relationship and what's going on there, all right? What the hell is going on? Well. I don't know if you guys have been living under a rock or not, but uh, last week, um, Mr. Trump came out and uh, said that he's going to start tariffing uh, Mexico and, you know, going after Mexico and all that shit that, you know, we know he's famous for. And um, I actually made a video about it. I actually made a, made a video talking about all that stuff. And uh, it was pretty popular. You guys were, you know, enjoying it and all that shit. And um, it was great. But anyways, one of the main uh, questions that I was getting asked um, after that video. Oops, sorry. A little, a little something. Uh, anyways, one of the main questions I was getting asked uh, after that video was, is it, st is it safe out here? Is uh, everything okay out here? You know, what are people thinking out, out here? What's going on out here? Well, let me give you the short answer. Literally, ever since Trump got elected, the Mexican people have not been very happy with Trump and not been very happy with our government. But the reality is that, remember, people out here are very smart. We talk about this shit all the time. And the people out here understand and they can separate the two, meaning they can separate the shitty government and the shitty president from the people. So even though they might not like the president and they might not like uh, what's going on with the government, what's going on with the wall, what's going on with all the shit, they still like the people. They, 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 they love the people. They've never had a problem with the people. So, you know, that's where that stands. That's where that, that stands literally right now and uh, moving forward. So, you know, ever since, you know, Mr. Trump has been you know, saying the whole tariff tariff thing, and you know, um, you know, um, the whole immigration situation or whatever. Um, the people out here, all they've done is just doubled down. They've doubled down even more. So, you know, what happens is that, like, all of a sudden now, uh, you're you're watching on the, on local, you know, social media or or you know, just on the local media, and you're seeing people like. Uh, what is it like if you sh like for example like there was this one video that my girlfriend showed me where if you show up uh to uh to this taco stand in the city of mexico in mexico city i'm sorry if you show up to uh, this particular mexico uh, this if you show up to this particular taco stand in the city of mexico um they actually um and you show your Huawei phone so you go to the taco stand and you show your Huawei phone the guy was actually giving away tacos So, you know, you see like the little video of the guy running a promotion, you know, like oh, we got to boycott You know the US or what have you show me your Huawei phone and in the show of solidarity I'll give you some free tacos and you know shit like that a lot of people are You know just saying fuck it, you know fuck the US. You know what I mean? Like, like let's start, you know boycotting coca-cola and boycotting a lot of the Amer these American corporate companies um, that are just doing no good out here anyway. Not everybody, but they understand. They understand, you know, um, you know uh, what's going on, you know, and like what certain uh, corporate interests they got to go after. So that that was very interesting as well, you know, um, where they're just again uh, showing solidarity, and not just as a country, but against you know the the you know the American government, the U.S. government at the moment, and what's going on over there with that. And it's, uh, it's really interesting. It's really, really, really cool. But again, you know, just to, you know, reiterate, you know, Mexico doesn't hate Americans. They just don't. They don't hate, um, they don't hate uh, United States uh, expats, okay? They don't hate anyone f like us. They just don't. They understand what's going on. In fact, you know, as they see the shit hitting the fan, you know, as they're, my hair okay? All right. <laughs> Gotta make sure I look sexy. All right, there we go. So as they as they realize what's going on, you know, if anything, they're bracing themselves for the fucking influx of gringos. You know, um, a lot of them they they realized uh, 
the natural resources that this country has, the superpower that this shit could be here. They understand that 33% of the world's silver comes from here and so on and so forth. So, let me see if we can. So with all that being said, you know, so with all that shit being said, yeah, sorry, it was just a uh, guy on a motorcycle behind me wasn't paying too much attention and I get one or when I get run over by him. But, um, so yeah, like I was saying, you know, they're, they're fully aware of what's going on. So, you know, right now, as Trump is saying, uh, you know, Trump is saying that the drug problem, you know, the whole drug situation, you know, that that is Mexico's fault and Mexico has to fix it. Look, Mexico is fully, is, uh, is aware, is fully aware 1 billion percent that that the drug problem has all to do with the U.S. It's all 100 percent the U.S. So now all of a sudden Trump is out there saying, hey, you guys got to fix that problem. You know, that fucking problem that is, is fucking up the U.S. or whatever. You know, most Mexicans are like, you know, saying, really? Go fuck yourself. Are you fucking kidding me? We ain't fixing shit. And if we're going to fix it, it's for our interest, not for your interest. And the fact that you're telling us what you're telling us, how dare you? You know, you guys are the ones that were bringing, you know, all this shit down here. You're the ones that are bringing, um, you know, um, all the guns down here. You're the ones that are creating the massacres. You're the ones that are creating... Uh, you know the poverty you're the ones that are creating the drug fucking problem and so on and so forth so again how dare you so that's literally the collective of all mexicans right now because as you guys already know what the fuck is going on out here you know what's going on with uh not just the poverty but the drug war and every mexican has been affected by that literally every effect has been affected by that so you know when people say like oh it's dangerous out here it, for, for, for regular people, it's not dangerous, you know, for, for a regular citizen, it's not dangerous, you know, for, uh, for, uh, for tourists, ain't dangerous, you know, for, for the majority of people, it's not dangerous, but if you're involved in any kind of shady anything, it's extremely dangerous, and, uh, you know, just this year alone, like, homicides have raised, have gone up by, like, 45%, in just, like, the first few months of the year, so it's, it's only getting worse, but it's the United States of America that is making it fucking worse. And that's, that's the fact. I mean, everyone fucking knows this already. Maybe the typical American might not know that shit, but that's the fucking facts. And, uh, you know, that's literally what's going on right now with, with that. So they're all really insulted. Um, they, they can, as soon as he was saying that shit, you know, they were all pointing to, you know, exact, uh, you know, situations in which, uh, the, you know, the U.S. was like directly involved with uh you know killing innocent people down here or are selling guns you know meaning like the cia or other government agencies selling guns directly to the cartels um hsbc you know the banking cartel which um launders the money for all the cartels down here and so on and so forth they all know what the fuck is going on so they, of course they're, they're beyond insulted you know but they know that it's not the united states of america people they know it's not you guys it's just the fucking government and the corruption that goes with it because again they don't trust their own government out here and how the fuck are they gonna trust you know the government of uh you know the fucking evil empire so but they can they realize that it's not the people's fault you know it's not necessarily the individual population's fault so you know right now you know most mexicans are extremely insulted but they're not really worried most of them understand that right now you know um what's happening is temporary Meaning that, you know, right now, like the, the peso is losing value. You know, the, the economy might, might be fucking hit pretty hard in Mexico for like the next few months. But at the end of the day, they're going to come out winning because, you know, they got China as a fucking trade partner. They got the rest of the world as a trade partner. And uh, the rest of the world is also losing the Ameri is losing America as a trade partner. So, you know, Mexico's <laughs> not really worried. They're really not, you know, most... If you ask, like, let's say, like a housekeeper, a taxi driver, whatever, they're probably a little worried because they don't understand the complexities of things. But when I talk to other people out here that have actual businesses and they actually sell abroad, they're like, man, we don't give a fuck, you know? It's actually going to be easier to have China as a business partner, you know, to sell my whatever the fuck it is they sell out here or create out here than it is the United States with all their stupid rules and regulations and taxes and fucking bullshit. So, again, you know, the typical Mexican is not really giving a fuck they if, if anything remember we've already talked about this most of them realize that 
the, the end of the dollar is right around the corner and um, you know they can't fucking wait so that their peso or their local currency whatever country they're in you know starts increasing in value so and um, become sovereign and you know again like if all of a sudden all currencies around the world start getting reevaluated you know whether it's gold or silver you know a country like mexico is sitting fucking pretty as hell because again if they if they mine or they have 33 percent of the world's silver within mexico that, that makes them pretty fucking rich right so that's not including the oil and you know the really ri the real rich oil reserves that no one ever talks about that mexico has and so on and so forth again mexico used to never export any oil and they used to you know be able to be self-sustainable but ever since the united states uh corporations you know came in here just like they did in venezuela just like they did in other countries all of a sudden now not only do they export oil but now they also have to import oil and that's why all the oil and then things like electricity are expensive as fuck out here when they shouldn't be at all so if the u.s wants to leave mexico listen no one no one out here is going to be complaining all right like honestly the only ones that are going to complain and not be very happy about it are other u.s corporations are united states of america citizens that don't understand what the fuck is going on everyone out there that eats avocado toast oh you guys are the only ones that are going to be pissed off you know and again you know when i when i was reading a lot of these comments uh in the video of uh that i did the other you know last week talking about this shit and uh, a lot of people were like oh this immigration problem needs to be fixed oh we need the wall to be fixed and blah 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 and it's like bro are you are you and, and by the way republicans and democrats and everyone in between you know saying that thing it's like you guys have no idea what the fuck is going on with immigration at all you know you guys actually think that you know uh, these migrant caravans or some shit like that are, 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 are you know are, are coming because things are so fucking horrible and so bad and and uh it's only gonna get worse and shit like that but man look man the whole thing behind those migrant caravans again you know you can just do a little research out there but you know i'm i'm, I'm parent my parents are migrants okay most hispanics in the united states my age are a little younger you know our parents came from whatever country and um, there was never so no such thing as a fucking caravan or any of this shit, okay? This is something brand fucking new. And, you know, it's been happening in the last several years. Now you got to ask yourself, well, how, how did these things come about? Where did they come about from? How, you know, why are all of a sudden we have these caravans and shit? Well, again, to give you a long story long, literally what happened was that, you know, the United States of America went to countries like Guatemala, Salvador, El Salvador, um, Honduras, you name it, and they started recruiting people to come to the U.S. So they they went to all these rural places that barely have fucking uh, TV and uh, or any kind of signal, and they start telling all these people, "Hey, come to the U.S. If you can make it all the way to the U.S., we will grant you asylum." So a lot of people started doing that, and then when they started getting over to the to the border, well, what happens when they get to the border? They tell them, "Hey, you can't be here. You can't." You know you shouldn't be here and so on and so forth and so they get uh, these mixed signals also if you know what's going on in uh, in these individual countries as well you realize that it's the United States of America you know creating these uh, these cells of um, you know uh, sorry <laughs> <Gracias. laughs> Uh, it's like walking and talking at the same time. But anyways, uh, you know, the United States is creating these, uh, you know, these terrorist cells, you know, whether it's fucking MI-13 or, you know, the drug cartels or whatever the fuck it is. You know, this is all the creation of the United States of America. So a lot of these countries, a lot of these individuals that never wanted to leave their countries had to leave all of a sudden, kind of like overnight. Because, you know, as, as each day went on, their own home just became more violent more oppressive more horrible and it's all because the united states of america literally deporting the worst of the worst fucking people back to these countries but the reality is is like what what was what would happen before was that you know a lot of times when uh when there's these uh you know when when there's these um when, when okay a lot of times when the u.s goes to these countries to tell people hey come to the united states for asylum all right, hold on. Let's... 
a lot of times all right I'm gonna wait here. But anyways, a lot of times what happens when like uh, a lot of these, uh, when the United States goes to a lot of these countries to give you know uh, these people asylum, to, to sell them the idea of this asylum that the, the United States is gonna provide. Um, once, you know, when, when the people start leaving, you know, the, the majority of the people that first start leaving these countries are the undesirables. And when they get to the United States of America, which is the case of what was happening recently, you know, they get to the United States, they start living in the worst fucking neighborhoods, they, they become gangs, they, um, they start, you know, um, infiltrating our, our, our inner cities. And, uh, you know, that's a whole MIC, MA6, uh, MI16, whatever the fuck MI13 thing started. Because it's like, just think about it. No matter how hardcore our, our hoods are, you know, these people come from even worse situations. So they come to the U.S., they can't find work, they can't find anything, they can't find anything, you know, they can't find any way to survive. But all of a sudden, they're, they're on the streets and they know how the streets work. And they fucking take it full advantage of that. And eventually they, you know, have these crime rings. They they get all tattooed. They get ultra violent. Some of them go to jail. And all of Yeah, hey guys, sorry about that. I had to go in the store and cool the camera down for a second in the AC. Let me see if I can finish this. But like I was saying, at the end of the day, all these individuals are going to the US and getting hardcore training. Literally getting super hardcore training so that they can be the most hardcore fucking gangsters in the world and then they get sent back to their own countries and then the havoc that they create down there is insane because you know now all of a sudden they have all this um criminal um knowledge on how to do the whole you know what i mean like a mafia style um running of a city of a town and you know next thing you know these people can't live in guatemala anymore or honduras or el salvador so when uh, the next time that the u.s envoy comes in and says hey you you know you guys want to come to the u.s all you gotta do is just get on this caravan and get over there and uh, everything's gonna be all right then what do people do they literally do that because overnight their fucking home has become fucking pure hell and then they just go on this little trek and then once they get to the fucking border you know they, they they're they're you know in for a rude awakening in which they're not allowed to go into the u.s and, and you know allowed to go into the u.s so yeah you know that's literally it right there yeah sorry about that <laughs> distractions i see i can i understand why i love some of you guys out there don't like uh, this uh, camera view angle but you know to me i like it because it keeps me on my toes and it's like you guys can see i don't really edit i'm just like talking and walking and whatever comes to my mind is what i say is a 100 percent unfiltered truth with that being said guys i really hope that today's episode was uh, a little enlightening and was able to shed some more light into the situation on here and also you know um just to make sure that you guys aren't scared or afraid of uh, coming out here or being out here that you know the most people especially in the area that i live you know they're very sympathetic to the idea to the knowledge of uh you know our country um falling apart that you know it's you know they understand that you know shit's going down and that it's not the people's fault and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be suffering due to this but at the end of the day um you know they're all very sympathetic and they're on our side you know we're all in this together they understand and they're not it's it's not mexicans are not uh united states citizens you get what i'm saying they're not going to think like united states people do so just get that through your mind all right they're actually nice and hospitable and uh it's just very different man so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thanks to all my patrons. Thank you to everyone out there that, you know, is continuously, um, you know, sending little donations here and there. Um, Lambo is very happy. You know, he gets to eat on a regular basis now. And he's not afraid of being eaten. eaten. He's not afraid of being eaten by me anymore and all that good stuff. But anyways, I digress. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, please follow us on Discord, please uh, check us out on, on Twitch and BitTube and DLive and uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, all over the place, all right? Don't forget to stay awesome. And um, I'll see you guys on the internets. Have a good day or rest of your day or afternoon or good morning or whatever the hell you're watching this. Anyways, bye. Question, Don't be you're rude. You're attacking us. Thank can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm us a question? I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news.